private property. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We have a strict no loitering policy. Well, I think that I parked my car somewhere in here. Well, where do you think you parked it at? I can't remember. Are you drunk? No. Well, what kind of car do you drive? I really don't remember. Well, what color is it? Is it even a car, a truck, an SUV? I don't know. All right, get the fuck out of here. I don't have time for this bullshit. Wait, it's a Volkswagen. No, I definitely drive a Volkswagen. But I don't know what color that it is. All right, I'll drive you around here once, and if we don't see a Volkswagen, you're gonna get out of here. You know that we evolved the property instincts to benefit with our survival? You think property rights are some kind of gift from God? Hey, look, smartass. Do you want me to drive you around here or not? If you want, I could just call the cops and they could arrest you and charge you with trespassing. Thanks anyway. Have you got any water by chance? I'm dying out here, man. No, no water. Sorry. But by the way, what's your name?
Hey, are you guys headed back towards town? Towards Main Street? Uh, yeah, we're heading that way. Is there a chance I could get a lift? I was just looking to get a bite to eat. Yeah, sure. No problem. So, uh, what's your name, man? I actually don't know my name. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, what, what's your name? Really? I have no idea. Wait, like, are you serious? Yeah, seriously, man. Are you fucking with us? Like, I'm totally serious. I have no recollection of anything at all before this morning. <laughs> well, I mean, do, do you feel okay? Are you like it's, sick? Do, no, I feel you, fine. Had you been drinking last night? Like, you I know, don't think so. Out? I just, uh, I have no idea. I feel do you totally think you fine. You were drugged? Like, do you feel like, like you need to go to the hospital or? No, I just know? wish I could remember what was going on. <laughs> well, if you try, if you called the police, what are they gonna do? Well, if somebody filed a missing persons report, you you might be on yeah. it. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, they could test you, you know, for drugs or something, you know. Yeah, well, like, what have you been doing all day if you're not, you know, going to the police or something? Well, I took a walk, and uh, then I went for a swim. Just keep hoping that something will come back, but I got nothing. I mean, is anyone looking for you? Like who? <laughs> like yeah. uh, family, <laughs> friends, like your boss? Hey, you guys are friends, right? Well, yeah, clearly. Don't you think that we evolved the instinct for friendship because it made it more likely that we would survive and reproduce? <laughs> well, maybe you want to oversimplify. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess that's that could be part of it, but I don't really think that's uh, that's the whole basis for friendship. I think there's a little more to it than, than just that. What, you guys think you're the exception of the rule? What rule? I don't know. The way I see it, friendship every time boils down to nothing more than reciprocal altruism. <laughs> reciprocal altruism. That's good, man. That's good, but it doesn't make any sense. If it's reciprocal, it's not altruism. Besides, like, I don't live for him. He doesn't live for me. We live for ourselves. And that's, I don't know, probably partially why we're friends. But, I mean, either way, yeah. we're not friends because it's reciprocal. It just is. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. You come in here, we give you a ride, and then you start, like, criticizing our friendship. Like, I mean, who do you think you are to be, like, saying that kind of shit to us. <laughs> Either way, man, where are your friends, huh? <laughs> you forget about them or they forget about you.
for you. Hey, could I have a cup of coffee and a hard-boiled egg, please? Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Do you guys have a pay phone that I could use? No, we don't have a public phone. Could I use your phone? I don't have a phone here either. So, the coffee and the egg? Yeah. Could I use your phone at home? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I'll be right back with your coffee. So you done for the day? Yeah, I'm off. Where are you headed? Gotta go home with the grass. Is there any way that I could just get a ride to the nearest payphone? I gotta make a call and I don't have any money. I don't know. Please? Ever used a riding lawnmower? I don't know. Maybe. You don't know? How about this? You come, mow the grass, then you can use the phone, but right after that you have to go. Deal. Okay. So what's your name? I wish that I knew. It's yours. Hannah. You know Hannah, grass lawns are monocultures, which don't typically occur in nature. Is a manager in? Um, I'm a patron of yours, actually. Um, white, about 6'2", 200 pounds, uh, brown hair, blue eyes, maybe a beard. Uh, do you have any recollection at all of any, uh, any patrons like that? I may have been in the store in the last couple of days. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Just uh, give me the address for the store, please. 275 South Mendenhall Street, Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, now, get back to those customers. You know that the brain actually releases dopamine when successful trading between people occurs? Hello? Hello? Is this the uh, Department of Public Safety? Yes, I'd like to inquire about a missing person, please. No, I don't know his name. Can I give you a description? Sure. White. Male. Over six feet. About 200 pounds. I don't know. Uh, 20s, brown, blue, 
Yeah, thank you, mate. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thanks anyway. Hey, thanks again. Good luck. Wait, do you want to stay? What's up? Well, it's Ross. Um, I don't know where he is, and I think something bad has happened to him. Um, what happened? Well, we got into a fight two days ago, and he just left. He didn't say anything. He hasn't called in, like, two days. He didn't take a bag. He didn't take any clothes. He didn't take his wallet. I mean, he didn't even take his house key. I know your brother's weird, but he's never done anything like this before. What if he got into an accident and they don't know who he is because he doesn't have his license on him? I doubt it. They'd be able to trace his license plate. He's probably just down at uh, church service. Brian, this isn't fucking funny. I've called all of his friends and everybody we know and nobody's heard from him in two days. Oh, Christ. You didn't call her mom, did you? No, but I was going to. I need to get her number from you, though. No, no, no. There's no reason to call her. He, he wouldn't go see her anyways. Are you sure he wouldn't, Brian? I mean, I've tried all his friends, and it's not like I can go look for him because he has the damn car. Yeah, just um, just stay calm, okay? I'll go look for him tomorrow. I got some stuff to do today. I'm kind of busy, but I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. You know, he's probably just down at, at the library or his ex-girlfriend's house or, you know, probably the bar. Wait, which ex-girlfriend? <laughs>
I'm sorry to drop in on you like this, but uh, I don't have your number I would have called. Have you seen Ross? <laughs> no, is he missing or something? Yeah, kind of. Well, I would probably check the general store or the bar down the street. That's where he normally went missing with me. Yeah, check that out. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, Lila. What's this for? Careful with that shit, man. I don't need some cops seeing that. Why do you have it? Why does anybody have a gun? It's to protect myself from the asshole that tries to fuck with me. You know that three times as many people commit suicide every year than are murdered in America, right? So? Well, doesn't that make you think twice about wanting to own a gun for protection? No, well, should it? Ross, there's still a lot that I need to learn about you, and we have to find out if there's anything going on with your health. Although memory loss can be caused by a number of things, it is possible that yours is related to a type of fugue state, what we call dissociative fugue disorder. We need to figure out what might have caused something like that. None of that sounded so bad. Some drugs, some therapy. That's how you're gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. Remember when you were little and mom would try to take you to the doctors and you'd lock yourself in the bathroom and you'd cry? I gotta admit, you've gotten a little better about it. Just try not to run off again, okay? I'm gonna go fire this grill up. Ross!
Gotta grab a light. Gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.